Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Snowtown here in City Skylines where last episode we did a little bit more expansions on the brand new ore industry. Uh, we kind of sorted out the little train line a little bit and we even implemented in a whole bunch of new residential into the game. Now the issue we got is because the city is so big we don't really get those demands as we used to so it now just takes a little while for areas to grow. Now I'm not saying to throw the super demand mod in right now, but do you think it's worth an episode or two of using the super demand mod to get a lot more people in and kind of get Snowtown up and running? Let me know what you guys think of the comment section down below. But today we're going to be taking a look at building our very own car factory. I think it's called a car factory, right? The big manufacturing plant where they produce vehicles. Yeah, I'm sure they call it a car factory in the game. We're going to be implementing that in as we start to progress through all the remaining of the unique factories because we now got big industries all hooked up. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy Snowtown and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new right here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But we are back, and this is the area that we were kind of kind of well, implemented in, which does take a little bit of time to kind of build up right now. I've got literally no residential demand. I have lots of, like, um, commercial industrial demand. But we have 3,000 jobs available, and all these people right now are oh, got the no schools out policy, so they prefer to work over education. So, yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But I, ooh, we've got a lot of death over here, haven't we? Is everyone okay? Do we have crematoriums nearby? We don't really have much coverage over here, do we? Oh dear. All right, let's go for a better crematorium. And let's implement a couple in. So, okay, there's a little bit of a space just here. I can squeeze one in. And there's a space just there. Just to kind of give this area a little bit more coverage when it comes to the death care. Right, so, I want to implement it around here. Because I'm going to build the car manufacturing plant. And then around it, eventually, we'll start to build all the suburbs and like where all the workers may live and the right kind of jazzy stuff as we slowly fill this peninsula. Not as crazy as Snow Hatton. It's going to be all low, red, low, low density, should I say. And then before we fill these remaining areas as well as we kind of progress and go around. But I feel like we need to do this anyway first because we have the free industries kind of near it. So that's where the majority of the workers could potentially live. So, this is what I want to build. I was already kind of checking it out. Yeah, it is called a car factory. And it's huge. It's absolutely huge right now. So, we're going to try and make it a quite nice little area. We're going to kind of set up a few little bits and bobs. It's going to have its own little train line. So, we get the imports and exports out fairly easy. Uh, and it's going to be the foundation of this brand new section. So, we're going to get the road coming down right now. And I think I'll actually only bring it to about there. And as we then swoop it round to kind of go up to here, and it'll probably eventually connect up to, let's say, over here. Which, this at the minute is a... What type of road is that? It's a, it's, it's a four-lane highway. Yeah, we could eventually maybe switch it up to this style of road. But if I made that... Well, actually, I'm not going to make it come out right now, but... Yeah, you get the kind of point of it. I don't want to do it just yet, because I don't want to kind of play around too much with what's going down. So, let's say that I had the road, hmm, so I can make it kind of do like a little, I mean, how do I do these roads over here? They're pretty much straight and then they go in different areas, and that's kind of what we want here. So, if I made this go, oh man, I, I pressed the wrong button, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button already. Uh, so, if I made that go like this. Right, it's a little bit excessive going past there, but it kind of then sets us up for the bend that we're going to create. So then we bring this down to here. So that coming down to there would be a 22 by 22. Bam. Nice little bend. And that would be then the through road that kind of cuts around. And then we can access all these areas then. And again, that will eventually connect to there. I might have to do some kind of junction under here or whatnot. See how it plays out. And I feel like we might need to implement another highway connection. Um, 
because we have this one here, then we're all going to travel down there to go down. I mean, it's one of those things. It gets a little bit messy, but then again, if I kind of sort out eventually the train line, we can connect more to this road and stuff like that. So we'll just see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. There's still a lot of traffic on this train line, which I do have plans on which I can fix it, but I don't want to focus on that today. So I want to build then the car manufacturing plant. Now, I've been thinking about where to pull it. I could either place it at the kind of start area around here. I could implement it over here. I basically want to keep it quite near to this side for the train line connection. So I can maybe push it towards at the back a little bit, which might be a good idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? So if I chose a just random random point, let's say this, to kind of come up to here and then let's say eventually we did have a little connection there so let's say I use this point as the connection I can then have this additional road tearing and bending through so where does that then snap a 16 by 16 just like that nice and then we can just come up here and create our little area so, right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What type of road should we go with for the industry? Should we just keep it to like an industrial road, maybe? I think so. And let's just come off just there. So if I bring this up there by 40, how big is the building? Ooh, it's huge. <laughs> it's definitely huge, isn't it? Right, okay. So scrap that road. No, actually, I won't scrap it. We'll push it. We'll kind of like integrate it in a little bit easier. So we'll do a 10 by 10 bend. We'll come down by 30. And then we'll do another 10 by 10 bend. And right, let's go to there for now. So that's in. <clears throat> How does that then look in terms of... Ooh, I think the bends are a bit too much. Maybe I should have started the bends a bit earlier. Yeah. But then again, maybe I want it on this side. I could implement this, though. I could do, like, a road going up to there. Let me just delete this one for now. Yeah, and place it in like this. Do I pull it right against it? Yeah. So drop that in then, our beautiful little car factory, which needs a lot of stuff. Animal products, plastic, glass, and metals. Pretty much all of them are around here, apart from the plastics, which comes from the oil industry, but they can just throw it on a train and get it all over here right now. Um, right, okay, so I want to build the road going around it first. All right, hold on. Try that one again. Like that. The road going around it first. And we'll then set up. And I think we'll bring it from out here. So if I did a 20 there. And then we did a 10 by 10 bend. Because this is where we can then hook up the train line. Bring this down to here. And then if I do a little. little bit of a jazz. Jazz? 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. Right, so five there, up by ten. And then we'll go five just there. And this is where we're going to place down a bunch of warehouses. So down by another ten. And then we'll pick up like, the five point there to bring it up by ten. There we go. So this is like our little car plant. You have the entrance point, and then you're in the plant. And it has its own... Um, import export area it's gonna have all its own little warehouses so we need four warehouses in total and should we go for the small ones or the large ones all right place a large one there how big are these okay way too big way too big right now so I'm only gonna do large warehouses for the stuff that is deemed too far away so stuff like um, Plastic, sorry. So plastics, we'll throw in. Do you know what? I might as well just use the same warehouse for everything, might not. 
Right, throw that in there. And then throw that there. Just keep it simple, right? Just keep it simple. So we've got the animal... Pro no, animal products next. We've got the plastics. I need the metals and the glass being stored over here. <clears throat> That's everything the factory pretty much needs. And then what we'll do is we'll place down like a smaller one. If I can squeeze it in. Where should I squeeze it in? Maybe here. Now we'll squeeze it in like just there. And then that will then store unique factory products which would come from the car factory over here. Now we've got multiple problems. I do need to give it power. do need to give it water and all that kind of good stuff. And we'll get into that momentarily. But then the train line and the cargo train terminal is next. Now the thing is, do I implement it on the, uh, <clears throat> on the same road or do I kind of like create an additional lane? I, can, I should create like an additional single lane, shouldn't I? So if you think about it, they're going to come down here. And let's say at this little junction here, if I brought it out by three, straight down and in, is that enough? I mean, it could work. It filters the traffic a little bit easier. There's probably going to be utter chaos around this area, but that's the fun of it, isn't it, boys? That is the fun of it. And also, for the longest time... Right, we're going to have to anarchy it in. Right, I'm going to have some issues with the, with the trains. Well, that's actually going to connect in quite early, hasn't it? Because eventually that road's going to snap it in. If it comes too much issue, I'll push it up a bit. <clears throat> but yeah, there we go. So, because we've still got the train jams, it's going to take some time to clear. And it's ultimately because everybody wants to exit. Hold on, where are the train drums? Oh dear god. We have ridiculous cleanup on our freeze right now. Ridiculous. See, this is what I mean. I need to go through all these train lines and sort them all out again. I need to kind of spend an episode fixing those issues. Because they are quite shocking. Some of them are still moving, but on the grand scheme of things, it's shocking. So where is the call pro? Then again, they are slowly moving. They are slowly moving. It does take a little bit of time. <clears throat> have I got too many crisscross? Is that what I've got? Get rid of that one. Um, get rid of that one. Giving them too many options seems to kind of throw a spanner in the works, doesn't it? I'll keep this one here because it kind of bypasses that station, but then again... Do I need it? No, because they could turn into there, and at least then we understand and know where they're going. <clears throat> right. So many options available. Do what you've got to do. Now, my next issue is these guys crossing. Now, I'm going to get too fixated here on uh, trying to sort out this train traffic, which I don't really want to. Want to do right now. But... It's because these turning bits are not long enough. They need to be longer well, longer than a length of a train. So, like what we did over here. So, a full train can wait on the turning point. So, there's no one getting caught up on one another. That's the big issue right there, boys. That is the big issue right there. But it's slowly starting to move right now. And we'll just kind of get to it. Anyway, let's focus on what we're doing here. Bam. So, water. Push that across to there. Push that across to there. Now push that across to there. We've got the water. Power. Um, now, I was thinking, do I create a park, a car park, sorry, a, a car park area? As if that's where they store all the cars. You know, okay, they've got like a row of cars here. But like, kind of create our own. Or maybe just for all the workers would be a better idea. I think so. And then I can use, because it's isolated, the solar paneled parking spots as power yeah that might be a good idea right so if i came up to here by five straight up and in if i came out by here by five straight oh it's gonna be an awkward space size one isn't it bam bam and then or do i go wider like that maybe a couple of parking lots set up. 
All right, let's see how messy this is going to be because you know this is going to be terrible. Right, one, two, three, four, <laughs> uh, five, six, seven, eight, not quite a full one there, nine, ten, <laughs> and EV parking. Yes, and as always, because I'm such a meanie bobini, um, I put the disable park in the furthest away. <laughs> the only reason I do that is because I use them as the little filler spots, and it doesn't normally work out. Right, let me see if I can select all these and copy them. Can I not select any of these? Right, okay. Those are better than nothing, right? Just getting them in. So there's a lot of uh, trucks now on the way in. Which is a good sign. Well, kind of a good sign. I do have trains available to bring the goods in. But it just shows you that they're, they're now bring. you know, we're going to have a lot of stock nearby. Which is good for us. So, EV. We'll flip these ones around. Oh, I've done it wrong, haven't I? Ooh, yikes. I've done that EV one wrong. I can't get to it. Right, we're going to ignore it and pretend it never happened. You you guys sin nothing, okay? You guys sin nothing. Uh, okay, and the whole reason for that was... Is because then the, the solar paneled um, parking spots here... Um, reserved for... The um, upper management gets placed in, and that provides the power for this area. There we go. Reserved for only the best. And <laughs> we'll get rid of traffic lights so they can keep turning in. Now, initially, we're going to have a lot of traffic here. We are going to have a lot of traffic here. Until eventually these warehouses are semi-full and got a nice little balance, and they start bringing the goods in by train. So we're going to see a lot. Now, I'm not going to connect it to here straight away because I'm going to cause issues around this section while they bring the majority of the goods in. So once it starts to die down, that little routing, then we'll do a full-on connection. But at the same time, I won't do that connection when I've sorted out the train line as well. Now, it is moving, which is a good sign. A real good sign right now. And it's just, it's just like when you, you clear normal traffic. You've got to eventually wait for the backlog to disappear. There's just so many trains going in that one direction. Uh, I kind of, I've got to create bypass routes and stuff like that for the trains. That's kind of like what I really, really need to do. But uh, yeah, this is looking pretty sweet. So we've actually got all the goods there. It's already started to produce cars, which is interesting. Uh, we are yet to see anybody using the exploitation area. But that should come as time goes on. But I suppose it's because they're going to probably start filling this factory of unique products before they do start exporting. So we'll keep an eye on that. But Oh, oh we got a train. Oh, no, I got confused with that being a train. <laughs> but it's not a like, bad little, little plant, is it? It's not too shabby. And that's kind of what I want to do with the remainder of all the little uh, unique factories is kind of create these sweet little areas. And then I could build low residential housing around it as if that's where the workforce lives. You kind of get the thinking behind it. I like it. I like it. There's a few little issues already anyway. That being so short to come into the train station. But once we sort this connection out here, and we'll, we'll revamp all this anyway and get it all sorted. But it is moving for the most part. It's just so much trains need to pass through this area. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But... I know it's only a short episode, guys. That pretty much sets us up now for slowly starting to build on this area. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, let me know by smashing that like button down below. The car company is called Jubilee. We all know that's the Ford badge.
We all low-key know that's the Ford badge right now. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when those next episodes do come out. But the, the factory is now in full force. It's operating normally until these run out. But I hope you did enjoy this episode. Like I said, if you did, smash the like button down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.